Good God bless you on this 30th day of thankfulness. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice and I pray that your holiday week was a blessed one. You know, this holiday season and this holiday week, the enemy is after your peace. He wants to steal your peace, kill your peace, and destroy your peace. Amen. It's one thing that money can't buy, riches can't buy, fame can't buy, and that's peace and your salvation. Amen. But, you know, God says that he has given you peace and that you could you can fix your eyes on him and he will give you perfect peace, amen. That peace that surpasses all understanding. And, you know, during this holiday season, regardless of who you are, regardless of where you are, there is a absolute uh, attack on families and peace and happiness and joy and stability and security and and uh, and and uh, uh, hopefulness. You know, the enemy always comes in hard during these holiday seasons. Every year, there's more suicides, more drunk driving. Uh, fatalities and, and arrests and domestic violence. Everything shoots up negatively during the holidays. And uh, it's it's the enemy. So I'm praying that God will solidify your peace, amen, and that you would rejoice in the Lord, that you would have joy unspeakable and full of joy, of, of, of full of glory. When I'm talking about joy, I'm talking about that everlasting unstoppable joy not determined by your situation but based on who God is in you amen that it would spring up out of your belly like the Holy Spirit would bring living water and that you would be renewed in your mind in your heart in your soul in your spirit in your mind in your thoughts in your memory in your home in your workplace wherever you go the joy would be an anchor in your heart and in your spirit. Um, you know, the Bible talks about the joy that I'm talking about, the, and it's in Psalms 30, verse number 5, because he says, sing, well, let's go to verse number 4. He says, sing praise to the Lord. There's nothing like singing a good song that lifts up the Lord because it brings you, if you lift him up, God will lift you up. Amen. If you lift up the Lord Jesus, God will lift up your heart, your hands, your house, and your heart. Amen. And, and it says, sing praise to the Lord, you saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holy name. How many times has he saved you? When you think about the Lord and all that he's done for you, Come on, our heart says hallelujah, amen. And when you think about his name, he's a name above all names, amen. And and when you lift him up, when you lift him up and praise his name, God will send down and rain down joy in your life. And the Bible says in verse number five of the 30th Psalm, for his anger is just for a moment. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God. Ain't you, don't you thank him for not holding a grudge like we do? Amen. I do. And it goes on to say, for his favor is for life. Receive that right now. Say, God's favor in my life, in my family life, in my friend's life is for life. For life, for life, Jesus Christ, for life has favor on me. Praise the Lord. Amen. So encourage yourself. And the Bible goes on to say, weeping may endure for a night. Sadness will come. Heartache will come. Tragedy comes. Can't avoid it. We live in a fallen world. This is a world that is cursed and you will have sad times and bad times and days of lack. But it can't last. 
there's an expiration date to that to that uh, that 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 attack to that sadness to that weeping to that mourning to that desperation to that 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 uh torment some of us are tormented but there's an expiration date to it and God promises in the last sentence of the fifth verse of the 30th psalm joy comes in the morning Joy comes as sure as the sun sets and rises. That joy will rise up in your heart if you open up your heart to the things of God. And the Bible talks about this joy is rena. It's, it's translated rena. In Hebrew, it says rena, but in English, it means shouting, triumphant, joy that makes you shout, that makes you sing, that makes you dance. Amen. The Bible goes on to say it's the type of joy that is described in Proverbs 11, 10, where it's jubilation when the wicked are eliminated. You know, when you see the bad get judged and they are eliminated. And you rejoice is that kind of joy. It's the kind of joy when you're coming in from victory, from a battle, amen. And your family and your friends are there, amen, to, to, to celebrate with you. It's the shouting and rejoicing and loud cheering in triumph. The Bible goes on to say it, it literally says that God will dance over his beloved people with singing and shouts of joy in Zephaniah 317. But the best illustration of the joy that I'm praying that God sends in your life in this holiday season is the kind of joy that Israel got when they came out of captivity and went back to their homeland. Come on, somebody. I pray that you feel that kind of release, relief, jubilation, excitement, shouting, triumphant, feelings of celebration and achievement and success and 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 and, and rest assured that God's going to take you out of that captivity that's got you locked up in prison and take you into a place where you can say there's no place like home. Praise God. Love you. I'm praying for you guys. I pray you're praying for me. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.